Hey folks, my name is Vinny. Welcome back to another episode of Hunting SC. Today we're out here gonna be shooting this 20 pound dumbbell. I'll show you what we're shooting today. Today we're shooting this 20 pound dumbbell. Uh, I think it's hard iron. It's got a plate of silver paint over it. Uh, it's been sitting around for a while, so I figured we'd shoot it, uh, make a video. I think it'd be pretty interesting to see what these different calibers do. The calibers we're gonna be shooting today is a 5.56 and a 2.23 out of my AR. We're gonna be shooting 30.30 out of my Marlin 30.30. It's a model 3.36. And we're also gonna shoot 30.06 in my Savage, Savage Axis. And what we're gonna be shooting today for the 30.30 is 150 grain core lock. For the 5.56, we've got some regular full metal jackets. And that is um, 62 grains. We've got some green tips for 5.56. I'm looking forward to see what the difference that makes. Um, this one, sorry, that's a 30.6 for the uh, core lock. For the 30.30, we got 125 grain core locks. And for the 223, some 60 grain VMAX. And those are our ballistic tips. So we're gonna set this uh, dumbbell up over here on that table, about 25 yards away. See if I can hit it with different calibers. I think we're gonna start with the 223 first. Move up to the 556 and then to the bigger rifles. Y'all stay tuned. All right, up first, 223 rim, 60 grain, VMAX. It's a ballistics tip. Looks like that. I put one in the AR. Shoot that dumbbell. Alright, we knocked her down. Let's walk over there and check it out. So it is no longer on the table. It flew back about a foot. I hit it at the bottom. Oh wow. That's a good little chunk out of there if you ask me. About as big as my finger, my pointer finger. You can see that there. That took a bite out of that uh, dumbbell. Those ballistics tips for the two two threes are pretty deadly. So uh, we're gonna move on to the uh, five five six. See what it does. All right, guys. Just regular five five six by forty five. Full metal jacket, 65 grains, regular uh, target round out of my AR. Let's see what it does to that uh, dumbbell down there. Just shot the regular 5.56 and it's still on the table. And I actually, I hit it right there. It's still warm. You can see some of the jacket peeled off on the handle and it just made it glisten. Didn't do nothing. You threw a little bit of the shell there, or the uh, part of the round stuck there in the handle. So it was a bit high, but it didn't do any damage to the handle. So I'm not gonna waste any more of that 5.56. Five, the regular, uh, Full metal jackets are way too soft for this hard steel here. So let's move on to the uh, the green tip armor piercing round. See what it does. All right, this is the green tip 556. 
it's not actually have a green paint on there but it is a steel core you're just going to believe me there's a green tip i checked it it's magnetic so uh let's put it in there and see what it does Walking over there after the green tip, 556. Five, Dumbbell's no longer on the table. So I'm assuming we hit it. About a half a foot off the table. And just looking at it now, I can tell you, we got a good hit. Ooh, wow. That was a 223 ballistic tip hit right beside it and that's the uh, green tip 556 five, there's a nice hole in there that took a chunk out of that steel chipped all the paint around it pretty wild I didn't expect it to uh, take that much material out of there Let's move on up to the next caliber. Next up is a 3030. It's my old Marlin. Just put a scope on there today. Got it sighted in. So we're gonna shoot the 3030, 125 grain core lock. There's the round right there. I'm gonna apologize about the wind noise. We got a large storm blowing in right now. So I'm trying to finish this video up. So we're going ahead and continue with the 3030 on that dumbbell right there. See what it does. All right guys, just shot it from the table. The dumbbell is no longer on the table. Looks like it's about a foot behind where it was. And I hit it on the top of it when I'm picking it up. And by the way, when I hit it with a 30-30 from the table over there, it made a loud smack noise. Like there was a lot of power behind that round. And as you can see, very, very uh, nice damage there. It's a little bit bigger than my pointer finger. And that's hardened steel, y'all. That's a 20 pound dumbbell. And it bit a chunk out of it. It also looks like it may have cracked the bottom. Unless that's the uh, paint around it. But man, it smacked that thing hard. When I shot too, I heard some uh, pieces of the material fly and hit the roof up here. Which looked like it might have just put a hole in it. Because I don't think that was there before. But yeah, I like the 30-30. A lot of power behind that round. It's a great deer hunting round. But let's move on to the biggest one I got out here today. It's gonna be the 30 out six. I'm shooting from 30 yards. I'm gonna back up a little bit for the 30 out six. I'm gonna try and smack it. I'm gonna turn it. We're gonna try and smack it right there. All right, y'all. The 30 out six, 150 grain core lock. Huge round. That's what I've been using for deer hunting most of my life. Killed more deer, deer than this than I've had with any other round. And for, for comparison, that's the 30-30 beside it. So it's a big boom. We're going to load that up. Try and hit it on top.
I just shot the 30 out six on the table and man does that thing kick. Sorry about the wind noise again. Awfully windy out here. Dumbbell is no longer on the table. It's about a foot behind where it was. Oh! Woo! Dear Lord! Man, I did not expect that. Hold on, let's figure out what happened here. I believe... Yeah, so I had it like this originally, and I turned it over to I got a clean side. And uh, I hit low to the right, and it tore that thing up. Look at that huge chunk of steel. Gone. Iron, sorry. Man, it took out about half a pound of material on that thing. Look at that. Tore that thing up. Let's see if I can pull that off. Nah. Man. That 30 out six is no joke. So I think obviously the number one for most damage is a 30 out six, as y'all can tell. Here's it compared to my finger. That was a 30 30. So 30 30 is a great deer round. It's light recoil, which I love about it. When it comes to 30 out six for larger game, such as large mule deer, elk, uh, even moose. Uh, It'll drop them. There's a lot more kick that you got to deal with. So it's give and take for that. But I'm liking what that 30 out six did to it. That was a two two three. That was a five five six FMJ. That was a five five six green tip. Put a nice hole in it. That was the thirty thirty. 30 out six. Tore that dumbbell up. So I think I'm gonna shoot it a few more times for the heck of it. I think we'll shoot it with a 30 30 again and possibly 30 out six. I take that back. We got a large storm coming in and it's starting to lightning on me. So this probably be the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me shoot this dumbbell with different calibers with the old Marlin 30-06 and the AR. I had fun out here in the farm shooting like always. I'm going to head out of here before I get struck by lightning. Uh, thanks for watching Hunting SC. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and do whatever you can to help me support my channel and uh, keep me making videos. I'd appreciate it, y'all. Thank y'all.